when you look back at some of the great players you played with and you look at a young Zlatan did you realize the star he was going to become how big he was going to become because no. when you when you think Swedish players now you don't think of Jönberg you don't think of Larsson you think of Zlatan yeah. more than anybody else of course that's that's not so strange when you when you see what he did and of course you have that fresh in your memory the first thing you come to think about is not that Freddie was playing for Arsenal or Hendrik was playing for Barcelona. You're thinking of all the clubs that Zlatan played for. Mm -hmm. But no, I couldn't see it directly. Some of the players who were in the squad then, I have read, said that, oh, you could see it directly. But uh, I'll be honest, I, I couldn't see it. His technique was crazy. I could say that. I remember the, the World Cup of 2002 when uh, that was his first uh, time to, to be involved in a big tournament. And uh, while we were warming up, um, he was doing things with the ball that I didn't think was possible. And, um, and he was doing things and, and some of us were looking at him and saying like, yeah, but try and do it in the game. Mm. It's not. It's one thing to do it here on the warm up, and then suddenly he did it game after game after game, and he, and you were just oh, amazed. Um, and then it was just growing, growing, growing. I mean, his, his status and, of course, him as well was growing. Um, so um, that was just impressive to see. Um, I did an interview recently in Sweden and. Uh, I said I was really fortunate I was in the national team when he came up and then I played alongside him um, for some years not regularly but sometimes and then I stopped and I got an opportunity to be assistant coach directly so I had from 99 he came along 2001 I think and until 2016 I didn't miss uh, a national game. Mm. I was involved in all of them as a player and as a staff. And so I got and at the after the Euro in France, um, the manager, head coach, and myself we stopped. Slatan uh, stopped. Mm. Isaacson, the keeper, stopped. Kim Kellström stopped. I think those three guys had close to 300 caps for Sweden um, so I actually got to see when he entered the national team and when he exit yeah and uh, that has been one hell of a journey I can imagine I uh -huh. mean during the early days I knew terrible is that an impression was he always I'm a lion not that no 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 <laughs> of course not and it was it was quite quite quiet Quite. He was quiet. Yeah, but at, in the beginning, because and he has said that I I, I read his book as well, and he said that uh, he actually wrote in his book that the first guy he talked to in the national team was me because mm. we were roommates. Uh, I was I am honest when I say that I don't recall it that <laughs> <laughs> that we were teammates at that uh, it was a friendly somewhere and. Um, um so um but no he was he wasn't he was I know it's hard to understand but he was quite humble <laughs> in that aspect when he was um when he was there and um but then of course when when time progressed and uh his success progressed um he became a bigger and bigger and bigger name and uh, suddenly it was all him Mm. Of course, it was not his fault. It mm. was the way he played, and it just went on from club to club, and it was winning, 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 winning. Uh, I look back at it now, since I'm now working as an agent, I can imagine. Jesus, can you can you think about his agent? He Mineral just then. he just called up everyone, and he said, everyone. He didn't have to call anyone, but when they called him. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's expensive, but do you want to win? That's what he probably said to the clubs calling him. Mm. 
how much is a championship worth for you?